I am um, this is the second video for the probability theory so I'll go over another two examples to cover this topic so um, first of all I have we have two blue ball and three red ball and then two person are going to draw the book um, to withdraw the balls without replacement so what's the probability that the first person that draw the ball draw the second blue ball so we have two blue ball in total and five two blue ball and five balls in total so if the first person who started to draw the ball is going to draw the second blue ball then the blue ball should only appears rather on the third position and the fifth position so in that scenario then the only possible outcome should be like um, so if the first blue should be in either the first or second position and then the second blue will be in the third position for example we have blue red and blue or red blue and blue so these are the two cases that the that the um, that the second blue ball is on the third position which is for the first person to draw the second blue ball and then we also have other cases that the blue ball on the fifth position so that the first person who started to draw the ball will also get the second blue ball on the fifth fifth position but not on the third so that would be like for example the blue on the first and then all the next three will be the red and then um, the blue ball on the fifth and the same thing for red blue and then red and then the fifth will be the blue and then red red blue red and then the blue on the fifth and the last cases will be all the red were drawn and then and then two blue on for and then the second blue will be in the fifth position so there will be totally six um possible um out scenarios for for the for the for the blue ball to be drawn by the by this by the first person who started to draw the ball without replacement so in this case we can see that um, so for the first two scenario we can we, we can see that um, there's um, so at least the first blue ball should be in either the first position or on the second position so we have to start with um, to choose one and then we are going to multiply by the probability that the blue that the blue ball is um, is drawn in either the first and the second position so f for the denominator we have three spot and then the first spot can have five, uh, five uh, five option and then four and then th three options for the this is for the denominator since we only we, we are we are only we only draw the ball three times so we only have three numbers in the denominator same for the numerator and for the numerator we're going to draw so in either the first or second position we're going to draw the first blue ball so we can have two blue ball at the first position then we must draw another red ball so out of the three red ball we can have three selection and then for the last uh, for the third position we must draw the the last blue ball so that will be one so that will be two the first the first blue ball and then one red ball and then the last blue ball out of all the possible outcome so that would take care of the first scenario where 
um, the second blue ball was a draw on the third attempt. Then we are going to add the the other scenario, where from where the the blue the first blue ball is drawn on in the first in either of the first four positions. So that would be four choose one, and then we go we look for the the denominator will be five times four times three times two times one since we are going to draw all five balls and then these are the all possible solution and then we're going to look for the numerator so for a numerator we are going to draw the f the first blue ball in one of the four position so we will have um, two that will that means like we 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 withdraw the first um, blue ball and then we are left with three red ball and then two red ball and then one red ball then we finish we finish drawing all the red ball and one of the blue ball then we are left with only one the last blue ball on the fifth position so that's the first blue ball and then all three red ball and then the last blue ball so if we calculate this this will be the probability that the first person draw the second blue ball given that there are two blue ball and three red ball in total so we have to in this question we have to be careful that um, the possible scenario that we can have that um, the second blue ball can appear either on the third position or on the fifth position that means like the first blue ball will be draw be on the first two or the first four position so this will be the answer um, that's uh, 0.6 for the probability then we also have a question for the poker so for what's the probability for a straight in a poker that's um, five consecutive card but cannot be the same suit okay so um, so I think in this question we're talking in one deck of cards so there will be 52 cards so the denominator will be um, will be 52 choose 5 since a straight is a 5 consecutive cards so we are choosing 5 cards out of total 52 cards in the deck of cards then we are going to look for the numerator. So for a straight, which means a five consecutive card, so we can have um, ace to five, or the last combination will be um, 10, jack, queen, king, and then ace again. So that gives us only 10 combination from one to five, two to six, three to seven, all the way to 10, jack queen king and ace so that will be there there's there are only 10 combination so that's the 10 uh, comes from then for um after the the number we're going to take care of the suit so there's only four suit in in one deck of cards so and then we're going to draw five cards so that will be four to the power of five so that uh, on each position we can have um, so there are five positions so that's that's why we are going to make and there are four students so that's four to the power of five so five position and each position can be e either one of the f um, four suit that would be spade heart club and diamond so and then we have five positions However, we have to take care of the, the cases where we have um, 
all five cards in the same suit, like five, like ace of uh, spades, two of spades, three of spades, um, four of spades, or five of spades. So for each suit, there can be four cases where all the suits are the same for the straight that we that we get from a car or from a deck of car. So we have to minus four to minus all four um, suit to make sure that we remove all the 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 the, the cases where we have um, all five cars has the identical suit so for this question we can see that this is the probability that we can get five consecutive cards from a deck of cards but they cannot be in the same suit we can have like four spade but one heart that also satisfy the condition that they're not not all five cards are the same suit so as we minus four here, we are minus four uh, outcomes for the spade, heart, diamond, and the club. So that's why I have the minus four for the suit, for the total number of suit. So we can see that 0 0.0039 will be the probability for getting a straight in a poker for a deck for one deck of card. So um um, so this will be the the second video for the probability theory where we are looking where we first uh, finding all the possible scenario and then based on the scenario then we are going to count the possible the total pos possible outcome whether um, we have to look for the order whether we have to decide whether the order matter or not and then we are going to divide it by the total possible outcome f f uh, in the um, denominator and then we can get the probability so the so so the core in this in this kind of problem will be to uh, find all the possible scenario and then count all the possible outcome and find all the outcomes and then divide it by the the final total outcomes regardless the the condition or the situation that we're looking for then we can get the probability so um, thank you very much and let me know if you have any question or comments or if there's any other topic that you want me to make um, some other video so um, Thank you very much and please like the video or subscribe the channel or share it to more um, more your f to your friends. Thanks.